Hey, Mom. Do you know who Julia Marhetu is? No. Hey, Mom. What? Have you heard of Julie Marhetu? Julie who? Do you know who Julie Marhetu is? No. Do you know who Julie Marhetu is? No, and stop asking me that. Who is the real Julie Marhetu? Julie was born in Ethiopia in 1970 and was the first child of an Ethiopian college professor and an American teacher. They later fled the country in 1977 and moved to East Lansing, Michigan, where her father had a teaching position at Michigan State University. Julie then proceeded to get a Bachelor's of Art degree from Kalamazoo College in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and did a junior year abroad at Chakai Anta Diop University in Dakar, Senegal. She then attended the Rhode Island School of Design in Providence, Rhode Island, where she earned a Master of Fine Arts degree in 1997. Now Julie lives with her two children and fellow artist wife, Jessica Rankin. Some of Jessica's pieces are Dear Another, made in 2013, Tether, made in 2012, and Noasis, made in 2010. The first painting by uh, Julia Murray II I'd like to talk about is Stadia II. Stadia 2 was made in 2004 and is ink and acrylic on canvas. It is 108 inches by 144 inches, which is 9 feet by 12 feet, so it's pretty big. And it can be found in Carnegie Museum of Art in Pittsburgh. At first glance, Stadia 2 seems to be a huge mess of shapes and lines, but every shape and line plays together to create an image. The image for this painting is a stadium. The lines in the back come together to resemble bleacher seats, and the open circle in the middle represents where the field would be. Also in the middle of the painting, there are small blue and red dots. These dots are supposed to be confetti to celebrate the winning team's victory, but to dampen the mood, Julie put lines of smoke in the center to symbolize terrorist attacks at stadiums. This was possibly done to give the painting a sweet yet sour feeling. Other symbolism found in Stadia 2 is near the top of the work, where triangles, circles, and parallelograms resemble flags hanging on strings. The first flag could be seen on the top right is the American flag, near the middle could be seen as the Japanese flag, and near the left the French and Italian flag can be seen. Other symbolism in the work could be religious symbolism with the Christian cross. Stadia 2 is a part of a triptych of works created in 2004 that explore the themes of nationalism and revolution found in the worlds of art, sports, and contemporary politics. The process for making Stadia 2 started with a projection of maps and diagrams on a blank canvas. Julie then made traces and hash marks that eventually grew into a full image. The first layer of the painting was coated with an acrylic silica mixture and after dyeing the ground of the painting, it was then layered with many figures and photographs that created the final product. Julie described her painting as a stratified tectonic geology with the characters themselves buried as if they were fossils. And the Carnegie Art Museum described her painting as organized chaos. The second Julie Murray II painting I like to talk about is Mural. It was made in 2009. It is located in Lower Manhattan in a Goldman Sachs office building. It is ink on acrylic on canvas, and it is 23 feet high and 80 feet long. It's possibly Julie's uh, most famous painting just of, because of the sheer amount of people who see it every day. Julie was commissioned by the Global Investment Banking Firm in 2007. And just like her last piece, Stadia 2, Mural carries a secret meaning in the many lines and figures. For this work, it is global capitalism, and she does this by referencing the history of global economies including the Greek and Roman markets, the New Orleans cotton exchange trade routes, and the facade of the New York Stock Exchange. Mural was made in six layers. The first layer consisting of lines, contours, and shapes referencing modern art. The second layer is a sanded down acrylic spray. The third layer is made of architectural drawings, including modern high-rises. 
The fourth layer is of sanded acrylic spray and that embeds these various strata into a flattened surface. The fifth layer includes additional architectural schemes and aerial views. And the final layer consists of freehand drawings duly made on top of the canvas with acrylic sumi ink. The third piece by Julie I'd like to talk about, and it's probably my favorite just because of how striking it is, is called Middle Gray. It was made in 2007. It is ink and acrylic on canvas. It is 10 feet by 14 feet, and it was commissioned by Duce Bank AG in, co in consultation with the Solman R. Guggenheim Foundation for the Duce Guggenheim Berlin. This painting was used to reflect Berlin's ever-changing cityscape, and to a smaller extent, it was used to depict the scenes of damage from the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. It can also be, be related to the images of drastic and often catastrophic transformations, like in Lower Manhattan and Haiti. Middle Gray was made exactly like the two previous paintings, first with a layer of lines and contours, and then a layer of acrylic spray then more lines and more acrylic spray until Julie decides it's time to freehand the rest until it's finished. That concludes my great presentation on Julia Moretu. Now I know who she is.